how much of this game was exactly what the doctor ordered for everybody involved? Well, it's, yeah, I mean, a win where, you know, the coach isn't going nuts behind the bench, a good, really good game for the goalie, and some guys that hadn't been able to, to score recently got a chance to, you know, to get some numbers, and that's, that's always a good thing. Did you, uh, right from the first shift, it looked like the, the coil line was going. What, what were they doing so well that, that made them really consi you know, continue that? Only? Well, they were cycling really well. They were, they were shooting the puck, and they were winning battles in the first period. And um, those are usually uh, good, good things that make good things happen. You know, I mean, uh, uh, the worrisome was uh, they were doing so, so well, and they weren't scoring. Yeah. You know, so that was what was the only thing that was worrying me. Did you get the sense Bruce players were eager to atone for Friday, like they wanted to get back out there? Watching the first 10 minutes of the game or the first period, I thought so. You know, I mean, we talked so much about defense. I thought we played really good in the first period. Uh, we let up a little bit, they, it, but that's natural. They came out hard in the second period. And, um, but uh, it's, uh, it's a good start. Do you play, Bruce? Pardon me? Do you play tonight to come back? I was back? really happy for him tonight. Uh, I could tell he was... Uh, looking much better and probably feeling a lot more confident when that first shot in the thir first period when he smothered it in his belly and it was like it stuck to him, it didn't bounce off and uh, it made me, made me feel a lot more comfortable. How important is it for him and the players that log the most minutes, that play special teams, that they really seem to set the tone in this league? Well, I think you need to have good leadership. I think we've got good leadership, you know, and uh, uh, they are, uh, the, the young guys look up to them tremendously. So when they, when they, uh, when they play well, or even when they talk in the room, it's, uh, it's, you can see the eyes are really open. Other, other than that uh, four on three goal that Dumba scored, I think like a month ago, uh, Granlin and him haven't been on the same power play unit for the most part. What, what what's led to the change? And well, I mean, Miko being off mm -hmm. for for one thing, and. Um, you know, we, we've talked about it a lot, but the power play for the most part has been fairly consistent. So we didn't want to change too much. And then Miko gets uh, uh, gets hurt. So we have to change a lot of the, the stuff. And we wanted Suits and Dumba on. Uh, so we just left the, the stall line together. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it might be something now that uh, we might keep going forward. What did you see from Luke kind of tonight? I, I thought he played a good game. I thought he was responsible. You know, his speed didn't look out of place against a very fast team. Um, and, you know, you can tell he's he's going to be a good physical player. But he, he, he was in the right position a lot of times as the third man high responsibility was, was good. And, you know, he killed the one penalty, which I, I thought was great. So, I mean, it let him in on all those things. Charlie Coyle, look what happens when you drive the net, right? So it's a funny thing about this game. <laughs> Do the right things, good things happen. The, um, the the hero of the game had that's given out by the players, right? So s seven goals and Dubnik gets the the hero of the game had. I mean, does that is that pretty much show that the teammates also are trying to you know lift this guy up? Well, I, you know what I, I think they. They they all really like him and they they care about him and they know he's gone through a little bit of a rough stretch here and and so they knew he played well and uh, they wanted to reward him and I thought it was I thought it was the right thing to do. How important was that stretch for him specifically at the start of the second period when Montreal made that push and it was still a one. He made one really big save that that I thought in the you know uh, it was like a kick save and beauty or whatever and. Uh, uh, well, you know what I'm talking about. And that's what was going through my head when he made it. And I thought uh, he looked he looked good after that. You know, that was another si sign that he was going to be on. And you said, so why you guys have been so dominant against Montreal and even preceding you coming here? I mean, it's been... No idea. No idea. A lot, of, a lot of times, I mean, I know last year, uh, they played in Winnipeg the night before, and they had just come off on a hellacious trip. I don't know. Uh, tonight they were just flat after, after beating uh, Chicago Sunday. Do you uh, just the uh, rest of this home stand? Uh, you know, obviously you really haven't accomplished anything yet. How, how important is it to keep the the foot on the gas here? Yeah, I mean that's why I'm not jumping up and down. It's one win. You know, like I mean, I'm glad for the guys that they won a game. But uh, uh, we put ourselves in a position where we have to win a few in a row to get back to where we want to be.